Hey to Z, Domain to Genus here, and welcome back to 11 Enlightenments. On today's episode, Komodo Dragons. The Komodo Dragon, Varanus Komodonsis, is the world's largest living lizard at a maximum length of roughly 3 meters and maximum recorded mass of 166 kilograms. Although, wild Komodos are typically closer to half of this mass. When feeding, a Komodo may eat up to 80% of their body mass, and as the heaviest record of a Komodo dragon included its undigested food, the specimen may have weighed as little as 92 kilograms before the meal. Due to their massive size and being cold-blooded, Komodo dragons must conserve as much energy as possible. Whilst Komodos display the typical behaviour of basking in the morning sun to warm up, they minimise this time by sleeping in burrows at night to prevent as much heat loss as possible. Yet, they have also been seen to be nocturnally active on occasion. Also, in the hottest parts of the day, a Komodo dragon may retreat to shaded areas or to ridges which provide a sea breeze in order to keep cool. Another way that Komodos conserve energy is by mostly eating carrion, already dead meat which they can smell from almost six miles away. However, when Komodos do hunt, it is by ambush. When potential prey comes close enough to an ambush site, the resident Komodo will strike for the underside of the throat. It is very unlikely that any prey will survive such an attack, as Komodos produce an anticoagulant, which leads prey to die of blood loss, even if they manage to escape. The diet of a Komodo dragon is comprised of most of the islands upon which they are found's fauna. This ranges from water buffalo to birds, and even younger Komodos. To increase the speed of digestion, Komodos may again sunbathe, as the warmth would accelerate enzyme activity, and thus more may be digested before going rotten. Although, Komodos have also been seen to ram some carcasses against trees to aid them in swallowing, and their flexible skull and loosely articulated jaw allows them to eat some meals whole. As the top predator of their environment, the most prominent predator of Komodos is indeed larger Komodos. The young Komodos are most at risk, as they are the smallest, and have developed a number of methods for evading adult attention. One such method is to climb trees. As the young are much smaller and lighter than the adults, they may climb to places out of any Komodo's reach, even though adults may still stand on their hind legs to try and reach them. Komodo dragons aren't fussy eaters. However, they do tend to avoid eating the stomach or intestines of their prey, due to the plant contents of a herbivore's stomach. And after eating, a gastric palate is produced of undigested hair, horns, and teeth. Komodos appear to dislike the scent of this gastric palate, and will rub their face on leaves afterwards to remove the scent. It is these two quirks of the Komodo which their young will take advantage of when hiding at ground level. First, they may roll themselves in a gastric palate, then lie within the stomach and intestines of a carcass, the young typically eat small mammals, geckos, and insects, though. Adult Komodo dragons only come together to feast and reproduce. Larger males are dominant and will wrestle challenges for food and mates. Though the loser of such a conflict will often escape, it has been known for one Komodo to kill another in such a match, and then devour the defeated. Smaller Komodos will acknowledge the authority of a larger specimen at a kill by emitting a rumbling hiss and allowing the largest to eat first. In reproduction, females are also antagonistic and will often have to be fully restrained by a male before copulation. Despite this, some Komodos may pair for life, a rare sight amongst lizard species. Female Komodos can also reproduce by themselves though, by a process known as parthenogenesis, they may lay unfertilized eggs, which always hatch to be male. The way a female may manage this feat is due to the eggs being haploid and then doubling the chromosome count to become diploid. It is thought that the adaptation of females to reproduce without males 
allows a single female to establish a fertile colony if isolated by herself. This would be to the initial detriment of genetic diversity though among the island's population. The Komodo dragon is not a particularly colourful creature. However, juveniles will display bright patches and patterns of greens, yellows and reds. It takes a young Komodo between 8 and 9 years to reach maturity, and they are thought to be able to live for up to 30 years. Eggs are laid in clutches averaging at 20 eggs per clutch, and they are incubated for 7 to 8 months. To protect the nest from predation, females will often make many other nests and holes to camouflage which one actually contains the eggs. Within the wild population of Komodos, there is over 3,000 individuals, with the population apparently decreasing due to poaching, lack of large prey, and environmental disasters. However, Komodos do not commonly come into conflict with humans. Though some reports of Komodos attacking people unprovoked are valid, any attack is most likely an act of self-defense, as Komodos are shy and will retreat from humans. In captivity, Komodos may become tame, however, this docile nature is generally only towards people whom the dragon is well acquainted with, and strangers are often met with aggression. Captive Komodos have greatly aided our understanding of the species. For example, it was thought that Komodos were deaf, but after a keeper at the London Zoological Garden trained a Komodo to respond to sound, the claim they were deaf became disputed. It has also been noted that captive Komodos seem to like playing with items such as shoes and shovels. This behaviour was described as seemingly not food motivated or predatory. And with that, this has been Eleven Enlightenments. I'd like to thank my sister for helping to research this script, and I'll see you next time.